Al Smith was the first Catholic Democratic nominee for the presidency, but he was defeated in 1928 by Herbert Hoover. But what if that changed? As President Smith sought an early repeal of Prohibition, a policy largely kept in place by Southern and New England Protestants, but which was widely unpopular in Catholic and Lutheran communities in the Midwest and Mid-Atlantic, especially as it facilitated crime in major cities of this region. Smith was a progressive like Hoover, however unlike Hoover who sought a balance between business and labor, Smith was slightly more favorable to organized labor, which constituted a large base of support for him in New York, meaning he'd likely push for more business regulations and protections for labor unions. Smith would also initiate a new political dynamic in the country. Shifting the Democrat Party's focus away from the South where conservative Democrats opposed him and toward large and medium-sized cities with significant Catholic and labor communities, something FDR would have done years later. Smith was backed by a political machine called Tammany Hall in New York which planned to extend its reach into other cities if he was elected, giving them greater influence over Democratic elections, possibly driving the South to support the Republicans after feeling abandoned by the party.